Hi, I'm Kevin with iFixit, and today we're here to tear down the Apple Watch Series 5. The process of tearing down the Apple Watch Series 5 is exactly the same as the Series 4. Apply a ton of heat, use a curved blade for some white knuckle prying from the top of the watch, and it opens up. Once you're in, you're met with some of the tiniest Y000 screws and cable brackets that you'll ever see. Even though the interior form factor didn't change much, we did find some interesting things inside. The Series 5 has an improved ambient light sensor embedded under the OLED panel, visible here thanks to x-rays provided by Creative Electron. The battery for this 40mm Series 5 is a bit of a mystery. Unlike the 44mm version of the Series 5, the 40mm's battery is encased in an aluminum pouch. It also got a 10% increase in capacity and is now rated at 0.944 watt hours, up from 0.858 in the Series 4. Interestingly, the 44mm version only got a 1.44% increase and has a fairly standard encasement. We're still unsure of what all these differences mean for right now, but we're currently researching the matter. Another change, although slightly obvious, is the encased S5 chip, which hides the bulk of the Series 5's upgrades in a system in package. For me though, the most interesting change in the Apple Watch Series 5 is something you can't really see. It's the always-on LTPO display. What is an LTPO display, you ask? I'm glad you asked, because I wrote a giant blog post about it for ifixit.com. The display on an Apple Watch is an OLED display, much like a smartphone, and the type it is is LTPO, which stands for Low Temperature Polysilicon Oxide. That's a hard word to say, but let's just say that there's a different composition of the thin film transistors that sits underneath the organic material in the Apple Watch. This gives it some power savings, but actually it's not that new. The Apple Watch Series 4 had the same LTPO technology in it, but what it didn't have was Apple's ability to use their software and technology to change the refresh rate of the display. The refresh rate is basically how often the display or the screen looks for new content from your computer. So if it's running at 60 hertz, it's checking 60 times a second to see if there's something new to display. You don't need that when your watch is down by your side, not doing anything. So Apple lowers the refresh rate down to one hertz or once per second. That's how often the second hand moves. So that's a big power savings that is present in the Series 5 that wasn't in the Series 4. New display tech aside, we gave the Apple Watch Series 5 a 6 out of 10 on our repairability score, with 10 being the easiest to repair. On the plus side, watch band replacements are still fast and simple, screen replacements are difficult but doable, battery replacements are pretty straightforward once you're inside the case, and while they're not proprietary, incredibly tiny tri-point screws are a repair hindrance. On the downside, several of the component flex cables are mounted directly to the S5 package, requiring skilled micro-soldering to replace. And lastly, the resin-encased S5 system makes most board-level repairs impossible. 